Hey guys, we have Jay Snow here, and we have Guilds of Ravnica box to open up for you guys, so we got this at the pre-release, of course. So the only weird thing is the shrink wrap did not have the Wizards of the Coast label on it. So I'm just asking on Reddit to see why it doesn't have the shrink wrap on it. I mean, everybody got good stuff out of their boxes and whatever, but it was just very weird it doesn't have the shrink wrap on it. I guess it's to show that it's pre-release only or something like that. But hopefully that's not the case that, oh, they just got rid of the Wizards wrapper just to save some money, because that's going to be a huge issue. People trying to read sealed packages and stuff, so hopefully that's just a pre release special thing. So we're just gonna skip pretty much right to the rares in this. I don't know what rares are value, but I love how the first card is almost always damaged for some reason. So let's skip all the way to the rare. And we have oh, a mythic! Allura Explorer of Justice, Exemplar of Justice. Oh man, that's a good card. Uh, let's throw that in a sh dragon shield real quick. Uh, I should probably have gotten more, uh, what do you call it, more sleeves. I think a couple here, just in case we pull anything crazy. But that's like a $10 mythic at the moment. Probably going to drop. Alright, so let's see what happens. The next one we have, uh, oh, -hoo -hoo! Assassin Trophy, nice, on the second pack. That's got to go on the sleeve. Damn. Oh my god, this box is busted. <laughs> we just got to be just getting started. Alright. But yeah, pre-release was today, but I didn't actually play in it because there was just too many people and certain people, not going to name any names, you know, you have opponents that you don't like facing, so I figured I'm not going to wait till midnight to get my butt hook kicked or kick fucked, uh, salty people. So, ooh, Hammer, what the heck is this? Hammer Ride Day, I think that's actually a decent card. Well, yeah, I just don't think it was worth it to stay till 12 o'clock at night or 1 a.m. No, not 1 a.m. It would have been 3 a.m. minimum pre-release, so I decided to skip out. Uh, let's see what we got in here. We have... Nope. Uh, oh, Legion War Boss. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We are off to a very powerful start. I mean, the only thing is now we know we're not going to get any more of, like, the top cards. <laughs> well, you never know. Foil Assassin's Trophy is definitely still in the ranks, so to say. Uh, Guild made this for him, okay. And we have a Foil! Ooh! Foil Hatchery Spider! I don't know if you guys can see that. That is sick! Damn! That's a sick Foil, man. So that's a Foil rare for the box. I mean, don't mind that. Spiders are cool. Not in real life, though. <laughs> Not in real life. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, nice! Watery Grave. Fetch land. Sweet. They're doing awesome, man. This is a great box. So, basically, all I'm looking for is the Foil Assassin's Trophy just to go crazy, but otherwise, damn, this box is awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh! Chamber Sentry. That's interesting. And we got a Foil, whoa. Whisper Agent. I don't know if you guys can see that. My camera's been derping out lately. I've been trying all the settings on demand, but it's just not happening. I mean, I've tried everything, but this is about as good as the camera I can get, and I don't have money for a new one at the moment, or the willpower to get one. Oh, Light of the Legion, that's cool. That's no big. So yeah, I just, I just don't want to upgrade my camera, but if I'm going to keep doing openings, like I probably should, just like every YouTuber known to man. But, I don't know. If you guys have any recommendations for cameras, please let me know. That would be appreciated. Uh, oh! Oh, Midnight Reaper. I already got this from my pre-release kit. And he ain't for nothing. Alright, next pack. Alright. Let's get to that rare. Uh, uncommon, uncommon. Oh, we got Niv Mizzet himself. I might make Commander deck out of that. I don't know. What is this? Murmuring Mystic. That's impressive. Niv Mizzet himself. If I'm saying that right, isn't Niv Mizzet? I might, I might be saying that wrong. Uh, oh my god, this opened up really stupidly. Uh, crap. But yeah, otherwise, in my meantime, I'm gonna be playing lots of Magic Arena. Whether or not I stream it, it really depends, because my streams have not been going too well, honestly. But Magic Arena is definitely a lot of fun, so definitely looking forward to playing some more after this box opening. Uh, what do we get? Repose to Resurgence. So, actually, I kind of want to rush through this just so I can play Arena. <laughs> like, yeah, I just want to play Arena. Like, what am I doing? I'm opening up real cards. This is pointless. 
What nonsense is this? Uh, we have oh steam vents. Hmm. Like, yeah, this box is insane. I mean, of course, actually, somebody on my pre-release within the six pre-release packs, he got the pre-release uh trophy and the foil trophy in one pre-release kit. Absolutely bonkers. Uh, citywide bust. Okay. Yeah, somebody pulled both trophies out of freaking pre-release kit. Pre kit. I'm like, I couldn't believe that. I was like, are you serious? So all the pre-release kits were jank from now on. From there on after. Um, two, three. Uh, we have, what is this? Uh, sorry, I can't read it. Seems like Allure, Assure, Assemble. Right, I'm gonna need to find another place to put stuff. I mean, I'm kind of hoping I don't pull Assassin's Trophy foil because the thing is it's worth like 150, 120. And it's like, I don't know how to sell cards on eBay without getting scammed. And I also don't want to hold on to it because I'd rather get more cards than just hold on to one card that will eventually go down. But you never know. Uh Oh, March of the Multitudes, Mythic. It's been Mythic. Yeah, I'm going to borrow some Mythic. Alright, next pack. Oh, we got a crab. Yep, box opening's over. We got a crab. Can't go wrong with crab. One, two, three. And we got Drowned... Drowned Secrets. Which is like a new mill card. Whenever you play a blue spell, you start milling some cards. I actually was able to play Commander today for like the first time in ages. And I used my Ninjutsu deck, but a Ninja Commander that ran new one in C18, and I was able to whoop everybody's ass with it. It was so much fun. Actually, I don't even know why. Oh! Peace Whisperer, that's like a real card. Actually, I, I totally lost my train of, train of thought. I have no idea why I'm talking about Commander, but... Yeah, you gotta talk about something in this video. So basically, nobody was able to draw their right land, so the entire time I was using my nin Commander Ninjutsu to keep pulling cards up the top and making everybody lose a certain amount of life equal to the amount of mana cost in the card. So it was pretty funny just to get Ninjutsu over and over again. Uh, oh, nice! Demonic Betrayal! That's exactly what I wanted! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a card I wanted. It's only like two bucks, but I definitely did not want to get it singly because I am kind of stupid like that. One, two, three. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, Bounty Agent. That's the rare. And then we have a foil wall of mist. Which looks, oh my god, it looks sick. Look at that. The mist is all foiled out. Oh, that's, that's sick. I am very happy with my box. And I will be getting other ones, because I got them for dirt cheap, I mean, I'm talking like, basically the seller went negative, almost, pretty much, so I will be having a few more box openings for you guys, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that, and we have, oh, nice, Tajik Legion Edge, that's like three bucks, not bad, not bad at all, only thing is, uh, he doesn't make for like, his command, I mean, his abilities aren't all like great to make like a major commander out of him, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with the commander in this set, the new ones. They just don't seem that great. In my opinion, of course. Everybody's opinion is their opinion. Uh, we got Find and Finale. No, Find, Fight, Finality? Finale? I, I don't know what that means. Alright, next. Alright, let's see. Two. And. Oh, Necro. Necro Mega? Okay, I don't even know how to say that correctly. Uh, so far, two Shockland. I'm also trying to do a Shockland count. Apparently, people who opened the case of Shocklands got like 20. I don't, I don't know if the case means 12 or 6, I forgot. If the case is 12 packs, I mean 12 boxes. But, whatever. Uh, we got. Oh, Bounty of Might. That's. Pretty bad. And we got, oh, foil never happened. Yeah, bounty of might never happened. <laughs> we did not pull that card. Alright, next pack. Alright, uh. Uh. Ah! Uh, Ami. Um, what the heck is this? Ami um, spell a death. Unfortunately, that is too slow. And, oh! Oh, man! Look at that! Mm, it's a foil mythic commander, which is probably the only commander people care about in this set. I think. I'm not sure. 
It needs a sleep. Put it in the sleep. 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 Oh, man, that is, that is busted. Oh, man. Oh, that is, that is awesome. Uh, what is this? Vivid Revival. Oh, yeah, that's pretty terrible. <laughs> Here we go. We go from, like, awesome to, like, oh, God. Oh, my God. So that means my box had a Mythic Rare. I mean, a Foil Rare and a Foil Mythic. That's, oh, my God. I, I'm about to have the first card. Oh, God. I bent the last card. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Hurt the card. Hopefully that was a token and not the actual rare. Uh, what is this? Quad, quad to duplicate. Can't even say that. Alright, just didn't say rare. Oh, also the code for, uh, Magic Arena to get three, three packs is play Ravnica, but I think it's capital P. Yeah, right here. For those who look for the arena code, it's only once per, what do you call it, account. But play Ravnica is the code to get your three, three booster packs in Arena. Alright, so let's see. Uh, oh, what is this? Fire Minds Research. That's interesting. And these videos are still taking forever to open up, and I'm skipping past the uncommons. Definitely don't want this to be any longer. Uh, what do we get? Uh, what is this? Conceive and conduct and contract? I can't read. Yeah, these sideways cards too hard to read on that camera. So basically, when I'm doing the video, I'm trying to look, uh, I'm basically looking at it upside down on the video. Uh, we astronauts. Oh, wait, Thief of Sanity? Oh, that's a cool card. And, uh, Wild Ceratops. It's a rhino. A foil vanilla rhino. But yeah, Thief of Sanity. Alright, so we only have two shots so far, which is, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about this box. <laughs> but, <laughs> two shots is a little underwhelming. Uh, uh, oh, whatever it is. Alright, oh, got that. Alright, oh, got that. I wanna look up the value of that commander. He's probably insane. Uh, let's see. Dawn of Hope. Okay. And, oh, wait, Glow Spore Shaman? That's actually not bad. The foil. A lot of the uncommons, I think, are apparently worth something. At least that's what people are telling me. So there is value in the uncommons, but I'll check that, of course, once the video is finished. And, oh, nice! No Hide Furox. That's a nice card. I mean, that's probably going to be a standard only card, unfortunately. I mean, maybe it has some use in Commander, but I kind of doubt it. I mean, I'm not so into Commander now. It's just casual game Commander, not anything ridiculous. Standard, not really. I just like busting cracks. Oh, underground lich. Oh, ho, ho. we have a lot of mythics. All right, so we have three more packs left. So basically, I'm just looking for shock or for that insanely lucky that foil assassin's trophy. But considering we already got a foil rare and a foil mythic, I just don't see that happening. Otherwise, this is the most broken box I've ever opened. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, oops. Uh, we got Erratic Cyclops, which I like, because it reminds me of Bioshock for some reason. And unfortunately, nothing in there. Alright. Why is the front card always damaged? Like, what the heck? Alright, so last one. I mean, not the last one. One before the last. Oh, nice! Sacred Foundry. Alright, we got Shock. I'm happy. I mean, I'm already happy, man. This is probably one of my best box openings I've had. Other than that random opening of random almond cut packs, and I got Force of Will as my invocation. That was insane. So will we get a foil Assassin's Trophy, or even just a Assassin's Trophy, just to top it off? And, and, uh, just veteran luck is on. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. As always, feel free to subscribe for more Magic Gathering content, and I shall see you guys next time.